Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Courtney here and I'm here to do another wedding 101 video. So this is going to be all about my planning, wedding planning binder. I'm going to do a little flip through for you and uh, we're going to look at the stuff I think is super important and things that maybe you don't need as much in your binder or planner or whatever you're planning with. I definitely enjoy the binder format only because I can hole punch things and stick them in or add like the plastic sleeves and just I can keep receipts and everything in there all in one spot which is awesome. So we're going to jump down to the table or floor. I haven't decided whichever will have the best lighting and we're going to go through what's in my binder. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off super easy with the front cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up making this a voiceover or not. So if it ends up being a not voiceover, I'm sorry for my hand gestures in advance. Okay. So the front cover just has um, my and Zach's name on it. Very exciting. To pop it open. Um, I meant to put a more permanent situation in here for my pens, but I have a pen. I normally have a pencil, but it is on my desk and a colored Sharpie because purple. Um, over here on the side, I just have some extra stuff from like our venue, a sample floor plan, um, and then like a packet from our venue of information. And then I do have a just regular college ruled notebook in here that I have been jotting down like different uh, meetings, different questions, ideas, like thoughts that I had. Just I carry that around with me all the time. So the first tab, which maybe I can, um, the first tab is all the calendar. So it started in 2018 because that's when we got engaged. And then um, up until September, which is the current month, I think you're actually going to be seeing this in October. But um, So I have like our year, our anniversary for dating in there and just things like that. Um, next next section, I will try to find this wedding planning checklist or if my mom made it, I will um, see if she will make it shareable for you guys. Let's... So this is a wedding planning checklist. Um, the step we've completed is uh, colored in the little hearts. I think my mom actually made this. So... If she'll share the checklist, I will gladly make a Google Doc of it and put the link down below. Um, and if not, I will create something similar for you guys and have it down below. So it starts at 12 months and then goes from there. Um, this is pretty, pretty, um, this is pretty thorough. It definitely has stuff that we're not using, but for the stuff we're not doing, I just X'd off. Um, it goes up to three months, two months. Um, one month before and then it has like a month, two weeks, two weeks, a week, and then the day before, wedding day, after the wedding, and then it's got a note spot, which is super nice. Um, there's a couple other checklists she's got in here. So she did, um, you know, buy wedding bands, things like that. Next we jump over to wedding day checklist. This is just a day of checklist, things to remember. Dresses, shoes, undergarments, jewelry. Um, for me, as a planner, I would definitely, I definitely always tell my brides to put their stuff together two nights before. Like, don't pack, don't leave packing to the last second. Pack everything. Like, put on your whole outfit, shoes, jewelry, everything, two days before, and then have that packed and ready to go. Um, and then you won't forget anything. So, like, emergency, um, Emergency kit, marriage license, envelopes with tips for vendors, like that stuff's all really important. Uh, there's a timeline right here that isn't filled out. Um, this is like a, a cheat sheet on what to include in your wedding day schedule. Uh, so this next section is all about budgeting. Um, it has a spot for budget amount, amount spent, deposit, date, bounce due, and the day you paid it. So you can keep track of everything. This again is a big spreadsheet that I think, um, I'm really not sure where she got it, but I will find it for you if you want it. Let me know down below. But there's a couple of different spots. Some of it's filled out, some of it is not. Um, this next section is all about our wedding party and it has a bunch of their personal information in here, so I'm just gonna cover it. But it just has a spot for bridesmaids, groomsmen, maid of honor, best man, ushers, um, flower girls, that kind of stuff. And you can put like their contact information, their assign if they have any special assignments, like our flower girl is in charge of, um, she's going to be in charge of greeting because she'll be like two then. So it'll be really cute for pictures, but so that, that next is stuff about like my, the wedding gown. There's a checklist, a shopping checklist, 
Um, and then there is some stuff in here about different fabrics and a layout of where you can write all your favorite kinds. Where I got mine is in here. Um, there's a bridesmaid little tab that right now is not filled out because we haven't gone looking yet. Um, same situation, confirmation of order, dress details, accessories that they need. Uh, purchase tuxedos is for the guys. Um, we're probably not doing tuxes, but there's a spot for measurements. You can write everybody's stuff down in case they forget. Um, there's a guest list template. So what we did is we actually used an Excel sheet. I didn't use these, but once once the guest list is finalized, I might fill these out. So grooms, brides, there's a guest list planner in here. Um, finalize the list to add everybody's telephone, email, um, gift. You can like keep track. Save the date, send invitation, send RSV received, thank you sent, and then number attending so you can kind of keep track. Um, I kind of have this in a spreadsheet instead of written out just because I think it'll get hard for me to keep track so we have a lot of family coming. Um, there's a couple of different trackers in here that she printed off for me. This one has like if they're coming, if we're doing an engagement party invite for them, brow shower, rehearsal dinner, post wedding brunch, um, if we got invitations and thank yous mailed, um, table number they're sitting at, if they picked an entree, that kind of stuff. This next section is all about hotels but we haven't booked a room block yet so it is empty. And then after that, it is all about catering. So I have like information for our venue up front of what we picked. And then there's questions, um, dietary restrictions to ask about. Um, if you know people's allergies ahead of time, I always try to give, like have brides tell me in advance if they know. But if you don't know, obviously you can't, can't know the future. This next section is all about the venue. So in the front section, there's a bunch of stuff from our actual venue and information, our contract and all that good stuff, but I didn't really want to show that because it has our date on it and everything. Um, then this is just a reception seating planner. So I put down our head table, like who's going to be up there so I can start, you know, planning it out. And then I stopped at table one and two. I numbered one and two and then stopped. Um, I would recommend doing this in pencil for sure or in an Excel sheet until you can get it done, like get it down because, and to wait till it's finalized, but my bridal party is pretty final. The next section is all about photography and different portraits. This whole sheet is like suggestions. There's a lot of suggested portraits on Pinterest, things that you could do or take. I would just say look and find what you want pictures of and make them a list and give that to your photographer. It's the easiest way. Another, another tip or like trick for photography, like your list is trying to make it too specific. Like if you want picture of bride with every groomsman, picture of bride with every bridesmaid, fine, leave it at that. Picture of parents, bride and groom with groom parents, bride and groom with bride parents, all parents, siblings, siblings each side, like try to, instead of like listing out every single person's name, unless you don't have someone to help wrangle. Like for my family, it's pretty small, but Zach's family is pretty big. So I'm gonna have like my aunt help kind of wrangle everybody. So it'll have like groom's parents, Jenny and Bob like listed so she can like grab them with his siblings and stuff like that. But, um, cause she knows our side already. So that'll be easy, but yeah. There's lots of lots of options. There's like must have like wedding checklists and stuff. There's tons. So you just have to figure out what you what you want to remember the most and you want to take pictures of that. Next is um, music. So this first page has our DJ information all on it and it's our contract so I just flipped it over. Um, but these are pretty standard. Um, oh look, happily ever after etc.com. I can link her down below because that's where all these printables are from. Nice. But this has um, the music, DJ, you can write their company, contact, um, their phone number, address, email, fax, and then notes. Um, we have like a play, do not play list. So suggestions, bridal party suggestions, don't play songs, stuff like that. Um, they There is a checklist of songs if you want to play them for Bridesmaids and groomsmen, entering grandparents, maid of honor, flower girl, if people are singing, if they're just going to do readings, things like that. Um, 
for flowers, it's the same kind of situation. You just write down the information. Our flowers are going to be fake except for our bouquets and boutonnieres. Those will be real. And our family friend is going to do those actually. So um, there's like design ideas. This is like an order guide, flower planner, um, total cost. This is a color guide. Like gardenias are for our joy. They, they're they white, um, but they have a lot of fragrance. Um, apple blossoms are white. We have a lot of those at our house. Tulips are for faithfulness. They're purple, that kind of thing. So um, you can Google all that kind of stuff too. The next section is all about the cake. Um, for me, my mom is doing our cake, so it's pretty easy. So she'll be listed as my baker. And then there is a lot of important stuff about cake and I did talk about a lot of it in my food and beverage um, video as well I did like a walkthrough about it so if you guys are interested I'll link that below for you to check out um, for stationery is the next section so stationery would be like save the dates invites thank yous anything like that if you're ordering from a company it's always good to have something in writing the second sheet is all about um, the wedding invitation worksheet so this is kind of like a cheat sheet um, to make sure you have like where it is, when it is, what time, your names, um, that we request your presence at our, you know, wedding, um, you know, the bride or, you know, we request your presence or you can put like the parents name at the top, like the, um, there's stuff at the bottom, return address, print out an envelope, you can say yes or no, uh, make sure the address is right if it's approved, um, if you approve the proof. You can put the total cost, deposit, date, paid, balance, due, etc. Um, I think we're doing a lot of the thank yous and save the dates ourselves, so we don't have to do too much there. Um, for the next section is really just geared towards brides. It's all about beauty. So uh, hairstylist, when you have your trial appointment date, uh, wedding day appointment, if it's at the same spot. Um, in the notes, I had hours written to make sure that I could knew when I could call and stuff like that. Um, this is the same thing, but another, yeah, just a blank one. For the ceremony, this is for if you're having a different ceremony from your reception, which we're having the same place do it. Um, there is a processional order, recessional order, which is usually just the same. Ceremony parts, so if like your officiant saying something, if you're having someone speak or sing besides your officiant, you would have it filled in right here. Um, the next section is about the officiant, which, um, my sister's godfather, I think is going to be the one that marries us and, um, he married her too. So that'll be kind of cool, but he needs to be officially asked. So if you're watching, surprise, you're being asked. Um, next section is all about rehearsal dinner. This is just talking about like negotiating costs, um, bridesmaids, gifts, that kind of stuff. Honeymoon is the next section. Um, if you're doing a destination, air tourists. Flights, ground transportation, if you're renting a car. Um, it's always good to send your family an itinerary of where you're projected to be, especially if you're going out of the country or out of the state. Um, the next section is all about bridal registry. So this is where you registered, and there is also a list of, like, common things. Um, so for your kitchen, dining, your house. Uh, there's lots of stuff on Pinterest. You can also... You can also register through Amazon now, which is awesome. Um, the next step is emergency kits. Um, you can find a lot of lists like this on Pinterest, which I would definitely suggest doing that, making one, having one at the ready. Um, next section is wedding day transportation. Um, how are they getting there? If you're renting anything, that kind of stuff. Um, this next section is supposed to be our engagement story, but I never wrote it out, so it's not in there. Uh, next is our in our vendor contact list. So this is like a quick reference list for your wedding planner. Or like my mom and like best friend are kind of in charge of problems on the day of. So cake bigger, florist, reception, stationer, but you shouldn't really have to. I won't have to worry about that so much. Um, videography efficient photographer, musician, caterer, ceremony, dressmaker, wedding planner. Um, this section is just all like contact sheets and note sheets. There's a whole section on tipping. There's a lot of stuff on Pinterest about this as well. I'll link a couple good articles down below. 
And then the very last, there's a section in the back for a to-do list, which I think is only one page, and it just looks like that for to-do list. So I do have a to-do list going in my little College World notebook. Um, I just brainstormed the other day and wrote down a bunch of stuff um, to do, and I've been checking stuff off as we do it. A lot of stuff is kind of far out, so like blackout dates for showers, when I can't, um, I have to print out a calendar, I have to decide on a sash color for our chair covers, that kind of stuff. So I would definitely enjoy having everything all together. And if there's anything you added in your binder that I don't have that you really liked, let me know. And um, if you guys want any printables or anything, let me know down below and I will create them for you. I love it. If you want printables of anything or worksheets, that are similar to these ones, let me know and I will get you some links, um, message me or comment down below and I'll talk to you in the comments. That is everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other questions, definitely let me know down below or if you wanted a different close-up, screenshot, etc. A lot of this stuff was just straight from Pinterest. My mom got a lot of this stuff off of the interwebs in various places, but I will try to link anything I can or if you have questions, I can you can message me or comment down below and I'll try to get it to you. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want to check out any other wedding related content, I do have a playlist up on my channel. It is Wedding 101 and it has all kinds of wedding stuff in there. I love you guys and I'll talk to you all in the next one. If you want to hang out with me anywhere else on social media, it is all down below. Twitter, Tumblr, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat is all down there. And you can also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and see my face more often. I love you guys, like I said, four times and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.